हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल लॉजिक मेडिको टुडेज इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक इज एक्वेस ह्यूमर वेर इट इज प्रोड्यूस्ड द प्रोडक्शन साइट हाउ इट इज सर्कुलेटेड विद इन द आई एंड व्हाट इज द ड्रेनेज एरिया ऑफ द एक्वेस ह्यूमर इफ यू आर न्यू टू माय चैनल लॉजिक मेडिको काइंडली प्रेस द सब्सक्राइब बटन and press the bell button to get the latest notification of the videos without much delay let's start with aqueous humor so the name suggest aqueous humor it's a liquid which is like watery consistency this is present in the anterior segment of the eyeball now what is this anterior segment of the eyeball that portion of the eyeball which is in front of the the bicornate lens is called the anterior segment of the eyeball here there is a watery fluid called as aqueous humor whereas the posterior 5/6 of the eyeball there is a jelly like material it will be called as vitreous humor okay i am not going to touch that jelly like material vitreous humor which is behind the lens for time being we will study only with respect to aqueous humor so aqueous humor is a transparent watery fluid almost similar to plasma but it contains lower protein concentration now why is it so so imagine if a protein is there in larger concentration if you have done heat coagulation test or sulfur sulfate test if you just warm the test tube containing that higher concentration of protein what will happen it will become a coagulum or a white like cloudy like precipitate so that kind of thing will happen here so then what is the purpose of having a lens we can't see through this right so therefore the aqueous humor should have lower protein concentration so that it maintains the transparency the clearness will be there okay right from the cornea through the lens into the retina so the composition of the aqueous humor sorry the composition of the aqueous humor it contains mainly 99.9% of water it contains okay the remaining 0.1% is other things what is other things number 1 protein 5 to 16 mg for every 100 ml so this protein concentration is actually less than 1% of plasma concentration I already told you the importance of that, so that the aqueous humor will not become hazy. Then glucose, glucose is approximately 75% of the plasma concentration of the glucose. Okay, so that is present in the aqueous humor. Electrolytes, sodium level is there, 145 milli equivalent. It is similar to the plasma level. So aqueous humor and and in the plasma, blood plasma, the sodium value is same. Bicarbonate concentration, the concentration of bicarbonate. will be increased in the posterior segment posterior chamber but it will be decreased in the anterior chamber of the eyeball that i will tell you later so this bicarbonate hco3 minus that is increased in the posterior chamber posterior chamber is behind the iris in front of the lens anterior chamber that is in front of the iris but behind the cornea it will be reduced chloride ion concentration is more than that of the plasma while the phosphate concentration is less than that of the plasma ascorbic acid that is vitamin c is an antioxidant okay it concentration will be very high in the aqueous humor so that any oxidative stress within the aqueous humor either with respect to the lens iris or cornea that will be counteracted by the vitamin c or ascorbic acid then coagulation factor and anticoagulant pathway will be same as in human plasma similar to the aqueous humor it is present so that neither there should be coagulum formation nor there should be fully watery consistency so come to the functions of the aqueous humor one by one we will see the first function is it brings oxygen and nutrients to what to the structures which it touches the lens the iris and the cornea so it provides nutrition when it provides nutrition it also drains waste products right so it removes waste product the products of metabolism toxin substances from these structures these structures are lens iris and cornea so that the aqueous humor always remain remains transparent and watery then it provides optically clear medium for vision this function is very important otherwise if there is a hazy aqueous humor in conditions like hypopoion hematopoion uh, like that blood clot or pus will be there in aqueous humor that time the person vision will be affected next it inflates the globe and provides a mechanism for maintaining iopium intraocular pressure so aqueous humor maintains the shape of the globe means eyeball also maintains a pressure called intraocular pressure 
that is also the importance of that then higher concentration of ascorbic acid protects this antioxidant i already told you uv lights will be exposed right our eyes will be exposed to the uv light so that will induce oxidative stress that will be overcome by the ascorbic acid or vitamin c it facilitates cellular response and humoral response of the eye to the inflammatory process and infection process so it also have immune cells in that that is also the function of aqueous humor so let's see where it is essential role in the health of the eyes it acts as a transport medium for the nutrition the cornea iris and lens the nutrition is mainly amino acids and glucose it maintains the shape of the eyeball and the iop intraocular pressure it transports vitamin c in this level so that it maintains a it is an antioxidant agent so any oxidative stress is overcome by that so what is the production site for this what is the circulation and what is the drainage it's very interesting and very simple actually it is a main question in the university exams so you should be familiar with this body this triangular shaped body is called ciliary body actually in three dimension it will be circular like a tire of a wheel it will be there but this is a cut section it is triangular in shape this ciliary body will have zonules of the suspensory ligament of the lens it will be anchoring onto the lens and it suspends the lens as the name suggests so within this ciliary body there will be a muscle called ciliary muscle and there will be an epithelium called ciliary epithelium within this there is a rich amount of capillary plexus so i will tell you one important point any liquid within our body is an ultra filtrate of plasma okay any liquid in our body is ultra filtrate of plasma even aqueous humor is a liquid right so it is an ultra filtrate of plasma from the capillaries present in the ciliary body so also it gets secreted actively by the ciliary body epithelium it is produced here in this area this area is called as posterior chamber the area between the iris and the lens will be called as posterior chamber so now i will talk about the circulation of the aqueous humor once it is produced by the capillary plexus of the ciliary body it passes between the iris and the lens in the posterior chamber then it lubricates the two and provides nutrition for them and comes out of the aperture in the iris called as pupil through this the aqueous humor gains access to the anterior chamber of the eyeball this anterior chamber of the eyeball now it nourishes the front of the iris and also the cornea this aqueous which has come over here later migrates to this angle this angle is called irido corneal angle the angle between the iris and cornea will be called as irido corneal angle in this angle canal will be there like an outlet will be there that canal is called canal of schlem so before going to that so what is the circulation it is produced by the ciliary epithelium and capillary plexus of the ciliary body that is production circulation from the posterior chamber of the eye be, be, between the iris and the lens it comes out through the pupil into the anterior chamber of the eye between the cornea and the iris that is the circulation once it is between cornea and iris it goes to this angle called irido corneal angle where it is drained so where it is drained into this canal what is the canal name canal of schlem yes c h l e m n canal of schlems these canals are like a trabecular meshwork or like a sieve okay they will drain into one vein which is present in the white of your eye the veins present in the white on the white part of the eye is called sclera and the veins present over there are called as scleral veins upon that epistleral veins so aqueous humor ultimately drains into the veins so where it has come from it has come from the capillary plexus that is arterial plexus where it is drained into the vein so from where it started blood vessel it where it drained into the blood vessel isn't it interesting through its course it lubricated all these structures and nourished them what are they lens iris and cornea it maintained the shape of this eyeball maintain the pressure of the eyeball that is called intraocular pressure so this is about production through the ciliary body drainage through the canal of schlem and the scleral and epistleral vein circulation through the posterior chamber via the pupil into the anterior chamber so that is a summary so in notes also i have written here for you ciliary body first it comes between lens and iris then it goes that is called posterior chamber then it passes through the aperture called pupil it enters the anterior chamber that is the area between cornea and iris then it goes through the irido corneal angle through the canal of stem to ultimately go into the scleral and epistleral vein so this is the importance of aqueous humor in depth
I have told you. Okay, the increase in pressure, the intraocular pressure will be maintained by aqueous humor. Due to any reason, there is an increase in pressure. Why there will be increase in pressure? See, there are only two reasons. Wherever the liquid is there, there can be increase in pressure. Either due to increased production or due to decreased drainage. That is the only two reasons for them. So, if there is increased production, that means there is an inflammation here, infection here in the ciliary body or in the iris. If there is decreased drainage, that means the angle over here is narrow. That's called narrow angle glaucoma. The iridocorneal angle they'll be talking about. So, if there is increase in production, what we have to do treatment? We have to give anti-inflammatory drugs which reduces the inflammation and decreases secretion. If there is decrease in drainage, what we have to do? We have to do drainage procedure. We have to do surgery with laser and try to improve the drainage. So, the treatment depends upon the cause for the glaucoma. So, what is glaucoma? Raised in intraocular pressure is called as glaucoma. So, that is the importance. Normal eye pressure, intraocular pressure ranges between 12 millimeter to 22 millimeters of mercury. If there is increase in the intraocular pressure more than 22 millimeters of mercury, then the condition is called as glaucoma. The person will have a painful eye. And if you palpate your own eye with a closed eyelid now, it will be soft, right? For that person, it will be like you are palpating, you are touching onto some shell of an egg. It will be like that hard, okay? That means the person has got a glaucoma. It is one of the preventable causes of blindness, actually. If you diagnose early, you can treat appropriately and we can prevent the blindness. The blindness is due to stretching of the optic nerve. Hmm. Okay, got this? So, glaucoma, any disturbance in aqueous humor volume and pressure will cause severe pain. Ultimately, the vitreous humor will get stretched and it crushes upon the retina and optic now causing blindness. That is what will happen. Okay. Why glaucoma happens? Just now I told increase aqueous humor production or decrease aqueous humor drainage. So, based on the angle, the iridocorneal angle between iris and cornea, either it is open angle glaucoma or closed angle glaucoma. If the angle is intact, it is called open angle. If the angle is closed, if it is approximated to one another, it is called as closed angle glaucoma. And later it can be called primary and secondary. Primary with no obvious reason. Secondary means due to some underlying cause. It is called secondary glaucoma, primary glaucoma. So, that is the importance of knowing aqueous humor, production, circulation, drainage and its importance are covered in this video. Kindly like and share this video with your family and friends. Don't forget to press the thumbs up button in the bottom of the video. Kindly comment and ask your doubts in the comment section below the video. Subscribe to my channel and press the bell button to get the latest notification of the video. Hope you gained some knowledge out of this video. Kindly comment in the comment section. Thank you once again to watch my video.